a, it's a different complexion because you had the American athletes and focus, of course, has been in the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships with Sally Pearson, Tiffany Porter winning, but you had in Queen Harper, Queen Harrison, Don Harper Nelson, uh, Brianna Rollins as well. Nia Ali, it's uh, an entirely different proposition here for Tiffany Porter and for Sally Pearson. There is Sally Pearson, just lost a world title to Rollins last year in Moscow, still the reigning Olympic Commonwealth champion. And disqualified in Stockholm, though, this week. There's strange things going on with the starter in uh, Stockholm, and she wasn't too pleased with things. Now, Don Harper, Nelson goes in lane five. There is Tiffany Porter. So silver in the Commonwealth Games behind Sally Pearson, gold in Zurich in the Europeans. But outside her, one of the five Americans in this lineup, Nia Ali, world indoor champion this year in Sopot, just ahead of Sally Pearson, second in Stockholm during the week. And in lane eight, Nadina Hildebrand, who's sixth in the European Championship final, so this one may be a little bit too pacey for her. Another American in lane one, Christy Castlin. But Brianna Rollins in lane two. Queen Harrison in four, Don Harper Nelson in five. They're the real strong Americans. So to uh, Nia Ali. Sally Pearson still just trying to find her great form of a couple of years ago. She's been struggling with a few injuries. She's lost a little bit of the zip. So Castlin in one, Brianna Rollins in lane two. Sally Pearson goes in three. Queen Harrison in four, Don Harper Nelson in five, Tiffany Porter in six, Nia Ali in seven, and Nadina Hildebrand in lane eight. Seven. Lindley Wales, a very good start by Brianna Rollins and Sally Pearson, though, up alongside and past her now. And Sally Pearson moving nicely here, leading at the moment, ahead of Queen Harrison. Queen Harrison trying to get there, and Harrison coming through, John Harper Nelson on the line, just ahead of Queen Harrison. Sally Pearson lost it over the last couple of hurdles in the last 20, 30 metres or so, and it is the Americans who come through, Queen Harrison, Don Harper Nelson. And uh, Sally Pearson looked as if she was going to just move on, kick on, she had the lead, but faded over the, the last third of the race, and instead it was the Americans who came through, and Don Harper Nelson getting it, and Sally Pearson has to give second best, third best there to the Americans. Well, you know, we look at Sally Pearson, you can imagine when you've won Olympic titles, world titles, you expect her to be the one you're looking on, but remember she had a bad hamstring injury, and that's really set back her whole season. But the most important thing, I guess, for Sally was to, to hang on to that Commonwealth Games title. So once she'd done that, that was gonna be important. But Harper Nelson, who would have thought? I saw her run very, so, so earlier in the week. I wasn't expecting her to run 12.66 here today, but she's managed to do that. She is competitive. She, of course, has been the Olympic champion. So we shouldn't really doubt what her skills are. The thing to look for as well is Queen Harrison here, was, she was trying to secure the diamond race title if, she, if she'd won here. At this point, Sally Pearson going so well. Yeah, problem is when you, you haven't been able to do the technical endurance work, you may be able to get out the blocks well, but you can't keep pulling your trail leg through and keep that kind of consistency in your, your technique. And that's where Sally really falls down this year. But don't you worry about that. A couple of months hard work in the winter and she returned to her best. You know, of all the, the women fields, I think the women's hurdles are the most competitive. Lots of women can take the gold medal. Lots of them could be medalists. And this field is absolutely stacked. Come next year in the World Championships, it won't look very, very different to this. I can assure you of that. Big, strong women, technically efficient, very, very fast too. And of course, that's what makes this event so competitive on a world level. And it's great to see that our Tiffany Porter is among the best in the world. Now they'll all run quicker times than this. It wasn't a, an astonishingly quick race. Pearson fading a little bit. Don Harper Nelson getting ready for her celebratory cartwheel as she came through to beat Queen Harrison, who still leads the Diamond League standings, and uh, Tiffany Porter down in fourth place. So we got a confirmation of that. Porter in fourth place, Sally Pearson third, Queen Harrison second, Don Harper Nelson takes.
I've got Dawn and Tiff with me down here, and Dawn, once a champion, always a champion. You came through so strong, and I think you you love running in Britain. I'm sure you've told me before. I surely do love running, running in Birmingham. You know, this is a great race. You know, I think last year I came out with the win. The fans are great. You know, you guys just put together a great meet, so I'm excited. I know, I, I talked to Tiff about this only yesterday, about how your event is such a stacked event, so much talent all the time, and you never shy away from each other. You're always putting your neck on the line. I think it just shows we're fierce competitors. You know, when we each line up, we know what we're capable of, and you know you have to put your best together in order to come out on top of these ladies. So I respect them all, and it's always game one, baby. <laughs> Great performance. Thank Thanks for so talking to us. Thank you. And Tiff's uh, here with me as well, as I say. And well, what a few weeks you've had. And to be able to pick yourself up again and come out here and do it, do it for this crowd, and you manage it. Yeah, I would have preferred a little bit of a better performance today, but um, I did my best. It wasn't a clean race, but I'm really encouraged for the remainder of the season. And like everybody else here today who's performed so well, you can tell people who are watching back at home on, on TV when you're in Zurich or in Glasgow, and they, there's packed stadiums there. It's packed again now. And uh, do you get a real sense of that today, how they're, they're really welcoming you more than ever? Absolutely. I mean, that's one thing we really do well is we put on good meets here in Britain. So I was just really excited to run in front of a home crowd, and I'm really, really grateful for all the support that I get. Well, I know you've got a busy time coming up, five more races, so we wish you well for those. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, too.